Namaskar my friends and today I'm back here with another Transformers review and today we'll be taking a look at the Yolo Park AMK series Transformers Rise of the Beasts Scourge yes the big bad Scourge and my god that is a mouthful of a name right Yolo Park AMK series of Scourge oh my goodness anyway so we have Scourge here in the studio and for some of you who may know or who may don't know I have already reviewed the Yolo Park AMK series Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime and Optimus Prime also you can go ahead and check them out but before I start this review a very big thank you to all of you we have finally finally managed crawled to 500 subscribers and it's not a very big achievement and it's a very teeny tiny achievement in the world of YouTube but it's an achievement nevertheless and I would like to thank each and every one of you for helping me out for supporting for loving the reviews that I put up for you guys um, I give my 100% in every review and uh, you know your love and support uh, shows that you really really like what I am uh, putting up on screen for you guys so a big shout out to all of you the audience the family of Get Set Nerd thank you so much now with that out of the way let us now focus on the review so this is the front of the box typical yolo park box beautiful art right here in front this is the side of the box right here scourge looking cool looking very menacing this is what the figure basically looks like how you can put him together we will be doing that i'll be showing you the tutorial on how to do it this is the other side of the box right here we do have transformers rise of the beast written here on the top uh, same here on the bottom so that is all as far as the box is concerned so now let us get to building him up in all his glory and before I even start talking about this figure let me just go ahead and tell you Yolo Park have knocked this one right out of the park because this in my opinion so far is the best figure and or model kit that has been released by Yolo Park for the Transformers Rise of the Beast line this one is an absolute knockout and uh, I urge all of you Transformers fans to actually get him into your collection. He is amazing. So, taking a look at him, and you know, he looks he looks amazing. He looks absolutely amazing. The uh, the paint, the details on him just look absolutely crisp. Very very good attempt here by Yolo Park, and uh, looks very accurate to the uh, CG model or the CGI model, whatever you call it. So yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic. So we'll just be focusing on his uh, on his body. Let's have a look at that first. So you know you can see this all this you know, all these details right here on the chest area. Very very nice. And uh, of course uh, you do have you know these uh, insignias of different factions right here. You know and these are all extruded. You know they all they're all protruding here from the body. They're all sculpted. So this is very very nice. These are not painted and you have the same thing on his arm as well as you can see looking very very nice. Look at that. 
very very cool and uh, the, the overall paint just looks absolutely amazing just amazing okay have a look at his spine right here very very nice all the all little details right here all the you know nitty gritties they've actually got into all of it and that looks absolutely perfect looks very very cool this guy has got some presence I'll, I'll tell you that and once you display him he looked very very good now let's have a look at his head and uh, as you can see that that head looks absolutely nuts look at the look at the scout work here here on the side all the scout work here on the side looks absolutely magnificent all the gnarly face and you know that the rotting uh, effect on the face that looks fantastic and the best part is I think he has an articulated jaw if I'm not wrong and yeah there we go he does have an articulated jaw so uh, this is something which is very cool very, very like this so we'll get to the articulation part in some time but here's the other thing you can actually take this face plate off it is again very very nicely detailed as you can see and you actually get this now I know it looks a little uh, weird right now that's because he has another face plate and once you put that on look at that yeah you do get that that looks so wicked cool look at that you can actually pose him with that uh, you know gnarly looking face plate right there you know when uh, Mirage actually uh, knocks his uh, face plate off you know hits him hits him in the face that's what we actually get to see that looks so cool wow if I can just lift his upper portion of the body you can see there are some wheels here yeah all this truck mode is hidden very well the wheels of the truck is written is uh, hidden very well very very nice uh, the small stacks look great as well a lot of details right there very very nice so this is this is a fantastic release here by uh, Yolo Park I'm so happy to have this and I'm so happy to review it only uh, figure of the year contention because although yeah these are model kits but these do function as uh, you know as action figures right so yeah these look really really good and as far as the accessories are concerned he does have these uh, tentacles here which look really really good as you can see they articulate as well and they also spin like they did in the film you know that looks very very nice and these are also articulated which is cool he also comes with his arm blade as you can see I'll just show you in just a second um, there's a slot right here and this is the back of the arm blade there you go you actually have his arm blade right here and that looks fantastic look at the details on that that looks very very good and he does look very very good with that arm blade as well so yeah that looks very nice and there is one more accessory that he actually has and for that we'll need to uh, get rid of this uh, tentacle hand for just a second and you basically you basically attach this cannon right here this arm cannon right here and uh, yeah that looks very very cool as well um, looks very similar to uh, the device that he shot air razor uh, that you know that device that he actually uh, shot at air razor that corrupted her so yeah we do get that uh, that arm cannon as well and uh, it kind of you know translates very well to the tentacle claw thing that he actually has you know that kind of looks as if you know this actually becomes this so that is that is pretty cool I'm very happy about that so yeah very very nice accessories full marks when it comes to accessories that looks really really good now let's have a look at the articulation so for the articulation his head and his neck are very very well articulated so he does look up a fair bit which is very very decent he does look down a little bit which is fantastic he does of course turn side to side and uh, because of the ball joiner in there he does really get in some very very nice positions with his neck he does have a little bit of attitude as well very menacing attitude which is 
you know, fanta because this is actually what we want. This is fantastic. He also does have an articulated jaw. It's very tight on my copy, but uh, it does have, uh, you know, articulation on there. It's very, very tight on my copy, but yeah, it does move. So for the shoulders, I can actually move this armor out of the way and the shoulders move out to about 90 degrees, which is very decent. You do get this movement here as well. If you want, you can actually use that for some nice articulation and you can actually move this out of the way and uh, you can actually get some very nice butterfly joints, which is very, very cool. Uh, he does have a very nice uh, bicep swivel. Of course, this just uh, <clears throat> came off the part right there. So he's got very nice uh, bicep swivel. He does have a very nice double jointed elbow. It's more of a single jointed elbow, but it goes full range. It is fantastic. It's very, very cool. As you can see, his uh, right hand here is fully articulated. So yeah, you do get uh, these joints right here. You've got three joints right here. You can uh, articulate them and sort of give him the uh, gesture that you want. The, uh, uh, you know, whatever hand gestures you want to make, you could totally do that. You could turn it into a fist, you could turn it into a pointing finger. You know, uh, you can absolutely do that. And if you do get that, uh, get that liberty to, you know, lose him. You do get the liberty to uh, give him whatever expressions you want, whatever gestures you want. You can totally, totally do that. That's amazing. For the ab articulation, uh, he does go side to side, which is very, very nice. The range is actually very good. Does go back a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Does come forward a little bit. And when he does come forward, you actually see the spine sort of exposed as well, which looks this area just looks terrific absolutely fantastic he does have a waist articulation as well which is very handy now as far as the legs are concerned this is typical yolo park you do have the drop down hinges right here so you can make him kick a long way he can kick back a long way as well <laughs> it's crazy um and just get this arm out of the way and show the splits he dare do the splits quite a lot if you want which is fantastic just quickly get it back in there there we go uh, he does have a very very nice uh, thigh swivel going on as well which is very handy he does have a limited range on the knee bend no he doesn't he is the range is actually very good all you got to do is just flip this part here the back of his knee and yeah, look at the range. That looks fantastic. Superb. And look at the hydraulics here. That looks that looks so good. Right? That looks very, very nice. Nice engineering going on right there. As far as the ankles are concerned, you can just flip this here, move it up, and you actually get that up and down movement, which is very, very nice. You can also get this part out of the way. And uh, his foot can actually go back little bit more it is again very handy you do get a very decent ankle pivot or ankle rock or whatever you like to call it that's very very good and he actually has toe pivots as well which is again very handy so the articulation on this one is absolutely fantastic a little more range on the app crunch maybe would have you know given a 10 out of 10 articulation but i am very happy to give this 8.5 maybe even 9 if i'm feeling generous so yeah the articulation is actually fantastic now let's have a look at some comparisons and here he is next to the mhz supreme commander optimus prime that i just reviewed the last review was him and uh, here we go. This is how the Yolo Park skirt scales with him. And this is a very, very good scaling. In my opinion, at least. This is a very, very decent scaling. And I think, uh, you know, you can actually get these two in some very, very good action poses. And, you know, take some nice picks as well. So, yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the other Yolo Parks that I actually uh, reviewed. The NK series ones um, in my collection. So, yeah, you'll have to just make do with this. And you can actually add Bumblebee to the mix as well. So yeah, there you go. 
That is what uh, he looks like standing uh, just behind Bumblebee. So yeah, there we go. And here he is standing next to the Bavi Megatron. And yeah, just a little taller than Megatron, but yes. That's what uh, he looks like standing next to Megs. And here he is standing next to the Dark of the Moon Shockwave. Or the Bave Interstellar Pirate. That's Shockwave right there by Bave. So yeah, there we go. And here he is alongside the MD LX Optimus Prime. So yeah, this scale really doesn't work, but yeah, just for comparisons. So there you go. So, what are my final thoughts? Well, this is definitely in contention for figure of the year. At least in my opinion, this guy is nuts. Look at the way he looks, look at the way he articulates his accessories. You're gonna have a ton of fun posing this guy around. You're gonna have a ton of fun photographing this guy. Especially, you know, in natural daylight, he looked absolutely fantastic. He looked absolutely stupendous as far as I'm concerned and I don't think I need to say anymore you know this pretty much concludes the review so if you like the review do give us a like comment share and subscribe and of course we'll be bringing in more reviews in the next few weeks as well there's a lot of stuff coming up so yeah stay tuned for all of that in the meantime please take very good care of yourselves please take very good care of your families enjoy your collections keep collecting and always remember till all are one thank you so much for joining us today.